Just be prepared to be cute. Like me. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? Thanks to and I appreciate you. You know I do. Girl, girl, girl. Welcome back for another video. <laughs> My girl and guys, was Papa lock in y'all in today's video i need to go over some things for you this is what helped me so now i'm helping you because um these are some things that helped me get my hair prepped for braids now um, a little backstory i really don't get braids like that um this is probably my second time getting it professionally done and so i was like how am i supposed to get ready for this i'm i'm new to this i want to share some things that helped me prep for this and we'll go from there okay i'm here to help also too if you haven't checked out my video things people don't tell you before getting braids i'm gonna leave that right there it's a very relatable video mm -hmm. all right so let's get this video started um girl let's get it let's get it let's get it so the first thing i'm gonna say is things that's gonna help you get prepped to get your hair braided depending on what braids you get now i have um butt length as you can see Okay, first thing I'm gonna tell you, get some rest, okay? Get some rest. You're gonna make sure that you got your good, what, six to seven, eight, six to seven, eight hours, whatever you like. I prefer seven. But make sure you get some rest. I don't know what time of day your appointment is, but for me, mine was in the morning. So I made sure I didn't do nothing else I mean, I got my hair prepped, but I ain't do nothing else after that, and I went to bed. Then, uh oh, 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 I can't go to the movies. I gotta get my hair braided tomorrow. But I'm not going out to eat. I need to get my hair braided tomorrow. So make sure you get enough rest, okay? Especially depending on what style you are getting. Um, if it's gonna take six hours for you to get your hair braided, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and get that rest beforehand. Mm -hmm. um, keeping your hair moisturized beforehand. So like if you have mastered a great hair routine, you're in the clear. If you haven't really, you know, get that together. Okay. Figure that on out to make sure before you even get into protective style mode, your hair is already being taken care of. Okay. Cause if you ain't in the habit before getting your hair braided, you definitely ain't gonna do nothing when your hair is braided. You're not gonna do a thing. Okay. Can I keep it real? The other thing I wrote down was making sure before, so the day before or whatever day and time makes sense for you to um, get this prepped, make sure that you wash your hair at least two to three times. Sometimes depending on if we lazy or like maybe we tired, um, that first wash ain't doing much. That first wash didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. So if you gotta do two to three washes, go ahead and do that. Two should be enough, but sometimes, sometimes, uh-huh, yeah. Blow dry your hair thoroughly okay not the ones where they be trying to be rude to people and saying your hair if your hair ain't blow dry like this i ain't doing your hair that's a that's a different person they need to get themselves together i don't understand that just make sure your hair is not poofy in some areas as in like still wet um and you can obviously see a difference if certain a certain side is like you know blowing out more than the other just you know just make sure your hair is thoroughly blown out and dry fully before you get it done but also too, making sure that you're using some type of heat protectant, okay? In your hair before you blow dry it. And some type of moisturizer as well, even when you're done blow drying, just to kind of like put it throughout the hair, but not to revert it back, but just to put it throughout the hair and making sure that, you know, you're in a clear. Okay. Also too, one big thing, and remember I talked about working out, right? One, another thing is leave your hair in a style that keeps your hair stretched. So you did all that work to blow dry it, but now it'll rain. Now you just sweat it. Now it's it's too hot outside, right? So you want to keep it in some type of style, like a. I, I tried to do. I can't remember what I did. What did I do? I don't know. But try to do maybe two flat twists going into the back, and you know just all the way down. Two straight. What am I trying to say? Do two flat twists all the way down, and just tuck them. That keeps it nice and stretched. Especially because if your hair get end up getting tangled again and stuff, you, you don't you don't want them having to go through your hair and brush that out. Don't know I got time for that. And if you tender hit it, I know that's gonna hurt for you. So just try to keep it in a style after you are done blow drying it and just in a stretch state. Um, you can I wouldn't say you could braid it, you could, but like a loose braid back or a flat twist back. I know some people do high buns because with a high bun, at least you're pulling it up and you kind of wrapping it and tucking those ends. A low bun too, just make sure it's not sitting too much in your necks. 
so it won't sweat out. You can do that as well. Um, just something I learned. It's probably some other styles too. Let me know down below. Or unless that stylist um, or braider actually washes and blows dries your hair, then you're in the clear. But for those that have to go in beforehand, prep beforehand, that's what I, that's my advice. Another thing, this is just me. Wash your face afterwards. Now, if you don't have sensitive skin like me, fine. Anytime I blow dry my hair or just do my hair in general, I always wash my face afterwards. Just because we got so much product that just we went through and um, I'm like, no, I don't need my face breaking out. And I also did that even after getting my hair braided. Um, I do that, like I said, regardless. But that's what I did after getting my hair braided as well, just to make sure I was in the clear. You feel me? Okay. Make sure you eat. And if they let you, um, eat while getting your hair braided, bring some snacks for yourself. Mm-hmm. That's a long time to be sitting. So you need to make sure that you are in the clear when it comes to your stomach, okay? So make sure you are able to bring snacks. If not, make sure you eat beforehand. We're not gonna be hungry for no, my stomach is not gonna growl. Mm-mm. I'm not gonna put myself to that. Now, also use the restroom beforehand and let them know if you gotta use the restroom, okay? Now, if you know you're a person that gets up and down, up and down, up and down, let them know that beforehand. Don't you surprise that person be acting like that. Mm -hmm. Now, we ain't gonna say all braiders are perfect, so I'm not gonna, mm -mm, but at least we gonna do our part as the client. We gonna do our part. Mm -hmm. So just make sure, you know, don't be trying no new foods the night before, the day before, the day of. Don't try no new foods. We don't need our stomach. <laughs> we don't need that, okay? Okay. Here's the thing, charge your phone, bring a charger. I don't know, if you need to watch a movie or something, go ahead and bring that. Do you need to work on something? Bring your laptop. Go ahead and do what you need to do. Now, don't, don't, now, if you're the person with your neck just down here the whole time, now, help, help the person out now. Help them out. You know, make sure you gotta, you know, your neck is not doing too much. You know, have it, have their back while they're braiding your hair, but, um, bring your phone, bring your iPad, your laptop so that you can stay occupied or watch something. I found that to be extremely helpful for me because it felt like nothing. It didn't feel like it was six hours when I was sitting there. It didn't feel like it at all. I also wrote down, be okay to talk to the braider or not talk to the braider. You know, it's going to be some high, you know, some high moments like, hey girl, hi, that was so funny. I agree that I was it. There may be moments like that, okay? And you may, maybe that day that Brady don't wanna talk at all. You know, we just gotta kinda fill the room and see. But be okay if they wanna talk, be okay if you wanna talk, or if you don't wanna talk, or if they don't wanna talk. It's okay, okay? At the end of the day, I just wanna make sure that we getting this together. That this is looking good. Another one, make sure you are keeping up with your trim. So um, I made sure to have a fresh trim before I got these braids, just so you know, if I'm gonna protect it, at least I know I have got my ends together first and now I'm protecting it properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So oh, another thing I know for some people, depending on what the style is, I'm just some things I heard, let me make sure I say that. Things I heard that some people have to take, you know, some, some cane killers to help them out before they get their hair braided. Um, you know, do what you need to do. I didn't need to do that with this particular style. Knotless braids were not, these are not tight at all, at least the person that did my hair, it wasn't tight at all. So I did not have to do that. It, I just had to get used to the length. That was probably about it. Also too, if you gotta buy the hair, don't forget to buy the hair. I almost forgot. I almost forgot to buy the hair. I said, Janae, the appointment is at nine o'clock in the morning. Right now it's six o'clock at night. You're gonna have to, and I was like, when I say chilling at home, chilling. But was it eight o'clock? I forgot how late it was, but I said, Janae, get up. You forgot to buy the hair. So remember to buy the hair. Don't forget to buy the hair. <laughs> Y'all forgot. I'm a newbie. I'm a newbie in this. And so that's why I made this list. Leave your tips down below. Let us know how you get prepped. Hook us up, okay? I know I missed some things. So let us know down below. And let's go from there. Okay, great. I'll be on this video educating a little entertaining. Let your girl know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Join my beautiful people crew, booty boot. And as always, as always, I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Peace. 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 Thanks. I am at Alexa's house to watch Aza for a couple of hours and she just woke up. Y'all want to see her? Okay.
Ready? This is the ultimate, you got games in your phone. <laughs> Prepare to be sick of me. Prepare right now to be sick of me. Prepare to be sick of me. That should be me. You should actually do it real. <laughs> Prepare to be sick of me. Prepare to be sick of me. <laughs>